all right hey guys my name is sumit and welcome to my channel again today i'm going to solve one more problem on lead code uh, this is hard level problem which is called frog jump so before i get into problem make sure if you're new here on my channel uh, subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and please follow me on all social medias links are there in the description box all right so now let's get into this problem uh, problem says that a frog is crossing a river the river is divided into some uh, number of units and and at each unit there may or may not exist a stone the frog can jump on a stone but it must not jump into the water given a list of stones position in units in sorted ascending order determine if the frog can cross the river uh, by landing on the last stone initially the frog is on the first stone and assume the first jump must be one unit if the frog's last jump was k units uh, its next uh, jump must be either k minus 1 k or k plus 1 units uh, the frog can only jump in the forward direction so i have uh, so it says that uh, okay so i have the created this miss i'm gonna explain you what this question says it says that a uh, frog can only jump in the forward direction this array is already sorted and in the beginning it will definitely take one step and also uh, it can um, it can either go k minus one step or k step or k plus one step and it the the frog will you know frog will only jump uh, forward like it's moving forward it's not going backward or it's not like uh, jumping on the same place so let's say uh, for example let's uh, let's look at this example so this array 0, 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 12, 17, I have uh, put it like this here. So what we can do for each position, we can uh, create a hash sheet. And in that, in that hash sheet, we can store all the possible combination that we can jump from that particular position. So for example, uh, for a zero stone, will definitely take uh, one step because the question says that frog will jump one step for sure uh, from the beginning uh, where it is written somewhere it's written uh, yeah initially the frog is on the first tool and assumes assume that uh, assume the first jump must be one unit okay so okay so i have uh, put one for the zero zero stone now if i jump one step from zero position i will land on first stone right now the previous step was one so now for uh, so how many steps can frog jump from stone number one so either k minus one k or k plus one right uh, and k is the previous step that is jump from the last stone to current step where uh, uh, current stone where frog is actually so the previous step was one so for stone number one all the possible combination will be k minus one which is k is the number of uh, number of the step uh, previous step so one minus one zero one or k or k plus one so one minus one zero or one or one plus one two okay in the same way from the one so how can we reach to stone three we have to take two steps so obviously one more thing and uh, we, we will discard all the zero combination or sorry all the zero combination because if we assume zero combination then frog is jumping on the same stone we don't want that right uh, it's not moving forward also it's jumping it's jumping at the same place we don't want that so let's say okay so zero will be discarded one plus one two uh, so there is no two in the array but one plus two three is there so we can land to three by taking two steps okay now from three for three stone number three what combinations we have so we we last the last day was uh, last jump was two so two minus one one then two and two plus one three now from three we can can we take one step no because there is no stone uh, with number four can we take uh, two steps yes we can because there there is five stones uh, five numbers stone number five and also we can take three step because three plus three six we have six stone i mean six stone number six so let's say if we come to uh step uh stone number five right so we can take two steps so for five we have two minus one one two and two plus one three combinations right and same way in the six so we can come to six six uh, stone number six 
in two ways from three and on and from five also so from three if you take three steps we can come to six so for three uh, uh three minus one two is there three and three plus one four is there but if we come from stone number five so we have to take one step only so one minus one zero one and one plus one two is already there and same way like in uh, stone number eight how can we come we can come from six because uh, yeah we can take two steps from six so two minus one one two and two plus one three and also we can come from stone number five because uh, we can take we can take three steps from stone five which will take us to stone number eight so three minus one two is already there three and we'll have to add three plus one four okay like that and in the same way for stone number 12 how can we come to stone number 12 can we come from stone number 8 yes 8 8 plus 4 will be 12 so 4 minus 1 3 4 and 5 is there any other way no the maximum number state maximum number of jump that we can take from stone number 6 is 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 so yeah only combination only possible way is through stone number 8 and uh, for stone 17 uh, we can come from uh, 12 or not so 12 plus 3 uh 15 is not there 12 plus 4 16 is not there 12 plus 5 17 is there so uh 5 minus 1 4 and uh and then 5 and 5 plus 1 6 so yeah we can come uh to we can reach to stone number 17 from zero stone so for this we will return true now for the second example uh we have array like 0 1 2 3 4 8 9 11 right so we'll add one step for zero stone and then for one stone stone number one okay one minus one zero one and one plus one two for stone number two okay so we can take only one step from uh, uh i mean we can take only one jump from stone number one right so one uh one one minus one zero one and one plus one two can we take uh two step uh from stone number one yeah we can take because one plus two it will take us to stone number three so two minus one one 2 and 2 plus 1 3 is also there and can we come from stone 2 yes we can come because we have uh, uh, we can take one step from stone number 2 so 2 plus 1 3 is there so uh, the possible number combination for uh, jump 1 like 1 minus 1 0 1 and 1 plus 1 2 is there right for stone number 4 can we come to stone number 4 uh, from stone number 3 yes we can we can take one step so 1 minus 1 0 1 1 plus 1 2 can we come from 2 yes 2 plus 2 4 so if we take two steps from stone number 2 then 2 minus 1 uh, 1 is there 2 and 2 plus 1 3 is there now can we come to stone number 8 uh, no because the maximum number of steps that we can take from stone number 4 is 3 so 4 plus 3 is 7 same way in the maximum number of steps that we can take from stone number 3 is 3 so 3 plus 3 will be 6 so uh, obviously we can't uh, uh, reach uh, you know till the end of this array and will return false so we have to check if the uh, hash map uh, at that uh, you know uh, at the last index of the array uh, so what we'll do uh, we can create a hash map for each hash so a hash map and we'll have a key as uh, sorry integer as key and hash it as value right so for each key will store the hash it as value and in that hash it will store all the possible combination so so how will we how we will return true so will uh, so the length of this array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay 8 so length of uh, this array is 8 so we'll find the key uh, will find uh, if the set set value is if the set of the last index is empty or not if it is empty then we'll return false because that means that we couldn't reach uh, till the end of the array if it is not empty that means we have this there and we'll return false uh, i mean will will return true so okay so let's into this uh, i mean let's get into this coding uh, uh, mm -mm -mm. so we'll create a hash map and we'll declare key as integer and uh, we'll store value as set set of integer i mean hash set of integer hash set of integer hm is equal to new hash map okay now uh, i will uh, i will add I mean I will add set for each uh, uh, you know for each uh, stone so I will run for loop for i int is i is equal to 0 i smaller than stones 
dot length i plus plus and will uh, hm dot put stones at i hash shit so for each index i am creating a new hash shit object okay and then uh, we can we can uh, set the value of first stone one so hm dot get stones at zero it will return the index it will return the hash shit because the value is hash shit. hm dot get uh, get api returns the uh, value right for that particular index so it will return the hash rate and that hash rate we can directly call the add method dot add and will add one okay so that is it now what we can do we can again run the uh, for loop in the uh, stone array int i is equal to zero i smaller than stones uh, dot length and i plus plus and then we can uh, again uh, so for each index we'll run uh, for loop in uh, for we'll, we will run we'll run the for loop uh, in its corresponding hash it also okay so for int step uh, hm dot hm dot get stones uh, that corresponding index for that corresponding index i am getting the uh, hash it I'm, I'm running the for loop in that and i will check if step is not equal to zero because we don't uh, want to do anything if step is zero because then it's not going forward and it's jumping in the same direction uh, like in, in the same position so we don't want that and also we want to check if hash map contains the key which key contains key uh, step plus uh, stones at that current uh, index so for example let's say uh, when we are at zero uh, zero stone and the possible combination is one so zero plus one okay so that is there in the hash map that will be there in hash map as uh, one will be there as a key in hash map right so same way one plus zero yeah it's already there one plus one two two is all it two is not there one plus two three is there so when that key is there and when step is not zero then only we will run this logic so what we will do uh, we'll get we'll do the same thing again uh, this one so let me copy paste this because that will be convenient for me so we'll get the stone we'll get the uh, hash set of that new position stone size plus step after taking that uh, previous step and we'll add step minus one because then in the new position we have uh, uh, we have three combinations step minus one step and step plus one right so same thing stone i plus step and then again step and then stone i then uh, plus uh, sorry plus step and add step plus one okay so that is it that's what we had to do and then we'll check so we will return return uh, hm dot get and uh, stones stones dot length minus one so we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, what to say we'll get the last uh, index of the stone array and then we're checking if what's the what's the uh, set value if if we have set values for uh, that last in, uh, last key or not okay so if it is not empty then we'll return uh, if it is not empty then we'll return true if it is empty then we'll uh, return false because that means we couldn't make it to the uh, end of the array right okay so let's try to run the code let's see if it works what happened sorry new hash it mm -hmm. contains key yep it's working guys uh, now let me try to submit this and let's see if it works
yeah it's working right now so runtime is 52 millisecond and it's faster than 30.81 of java online submission for frog jump so yeah guys so this was the solution for frog jump i hope i was able to explain the solution properly and if you're new here uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel please hit the bell icon and please subscribe uh, sorry please follow me in all social medias uh, links are there in the description box i will see you in next video and till then bye bye i love you all stay safe and peace out